in the same realm. Yeah. How long will it take? I don't know. <laughs> I wish I knew. I wish it would happen today. But I like what Brother, what brother Hagen always said. If you are, if you plan to stand forever, then it won't take so long. Amen. Amen. We have to have that mindset. I'm going to stand until I see the manifestation. See, we want to see the manifestation and then believe. That's right. We're like doubting Thomas. If I see and if I feel. But that doesn't, that's not how the faith realm works. That's not how the kingdom of God works. We have to pray and we have to believe. And then we will see. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. This is good teaching. Amen. 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 Even if I am doing it myself. That's what I say to the pastor sometimes when I've cooked a meal. I say, whoo, that sure was good. <laughs> Even if I did cook it myself. <laughs> this is a good meal tonight, people. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're getting some meat tonight. Yes. We can't just live on bread, but we've got to have some meat. Yes. Amen. Amen. You got it all of me, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. It's on the way. Yeah. Everybody say it's on the way. It's on the way. It's in the unseen realm. It's in the unseen but realm. it's gonna manifest gonna in manifest. the seen realm. In the seen realm. Amen. 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 I want to read tonight, if I can see this, I printed this off the computer and it is so tiny. <laughs> This is Jerry Savelle's prophecy that he got for 2015. We've read it several, several times. And we've seen God do a lot of things. And we've only got, what, four months left in, in 2015? Wow. But how many of you know that God can do a lot in four months? Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. He can do a whole lot in four months. Amen. Praise God. Okay, the prophecy says, experiencing the greater glory is still my plan. And you'll see the great I am shall visit your land. God's not forgotten us. He hasn't forgotten our land. He hasn't forgotten the United States. Amen? Amen. Says manifestation of my spirit as never before. Now, can I say, I want to just take a little side journey on this manifestation. I, I didn't mention the pastor that I was going to say this. But we've seen manifestations. Amen? We've seen it. We've had visitations. Amen? We've had demonstrations. Well, uh, a few weeks ago, the pastor was here at uh, intercession and I wasn't there that day. I was at home taking care of my mother. And uh, they were praying in the spirit and intercession. Well, Jim said, uh, told Pastor afterwards, she said, uh, when you were praying in the spirit, you would stop, but I would hear a voice behind me praying. All right. And so then a couple of weeks ago, Pastor was praying here in the service. Somebody came up to him after the church and said, Pastor, we were laying hands on people here at the, the altar. Mm -hmm. Said, Pastor, when you prayed in the Spirit, you would stop and I would hear somebody praying after you. Praise God. That's manifestation. Yes. Yes. Manifestation. That's visitation. That's demonstrations. Amen? Amen. God's working. God's working. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Manifestations of my Spirit as never before. And demonstrations of my power from shore to shore. Supernatural provision. Everybody say supernatural provision. Supernatural provision. Supernatural provision and greater breakthroughs too. Yes, this is my plan and my will for you. Everybody say for me. For me. Yes, that's you tonight. Amen. The powers of darkness will no longer stand, for I will show them the strength of my right hand. 
I'll have my way. Glory to God. He's going to have his way. Amen. I'll have my way and all shall see. No power is greater nor equal to me. My people will rise up and take their place. And no enemy will stop them from finishing their race. Yes, 2015, you'll surely see, will be a year that will go down in history. So lift up your hands and boldly decree something great is about to happen to me. Amen? Can we decree that tonight? Hold up your hands. Some, say with me, something great something is about, about to happen to me. To me. tonight. He has plans for his people tonight. Amen? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. God is, has got mighty things planned in the next four months. Yes. I'm excited yes. to see what he's going to do, aren't you? Amen. I want to zero in on tonight the part that says supernatural provision. Now we have really zeroed in on manifestation visitations, demonstrations. But he says in his prophecy that he will provide supernatural provisions. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. How many of you can use some more provision tonight? Yes. Amen? Yes. Amen? Yes. Supernatural provision. Yes. God has it prepared for you. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, Psalms 13 and 22 says, The wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Amen. He's got just a little short time now, amen, for the wealth of the sinner to be moved over to the just. Amen. God has got provision. He's got a plan for you. He's already provided it for you. Amen. Supernatural provision. God, I don't know how you can do it. I don't know where it's going to come from. I don't know this, God, and I don't know that. Supernatural. Yes. That's the answer. It's going to be supernatural. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo! Genesis 22. Genesis 22. Let's turn there. Are y'all following me tonight? Yes. Praise yes. God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Praise God. Genesis 22, verses 12 through 14. Now, in, before I go to those scriptures, in this it's saying that, you know, God was telling Abraham to take his son Isaac and lay him on the altar as a sacrifice. So Abraham was obedient to God. He's taken his son to the altar to sacrifice him. But let's see what happens in verse 24 and uh, 20, but chapter 22, verse 12. It says, And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad. Now he was just fixing to slay him. But God spoke. He said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou any, anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in the thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. Yes. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. As it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. He called it Jehovah Jireh. Now, Jehovah Jireh means God our provider. Yes. Amen. God provided a ram. Amen. Yes. God yes. provided a sacrifice. He provided the, the need that Abraham had. Amen. Yes. And God has provided a ram for your need tonight. Yes. Whatever your need might be tonight, Woo. He has made provision. Yes. He has yes. supernatural provision for 
you, just like you had that ground supernaturally put at the right place at the right time for the right need. He had the right thing for you tonight at the right place at the right time for the need that you have. Amen? Amen. He had a ram right in place for you. Now Philippians 4 and 19 says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. He's the provider. Everybody say provider. Provider. Hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Now God knows what you need. And he knows how to get it to you. That's not our problem. Amen? That's not your problem tonight. How is not the problem. But who is the one that you've got to look to? Amen? Let's turn to 1 Kings chapter 17. 1 Kings chapter 17. Starting with verse 1. It says, And Elijah the Tishbite, who was the inherit- inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Cherith. That is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to to feed thee there. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord, for he went and dwelt by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. Now, God had already commanded the ravens to feed Elijah. God already knew that Elijah had need of food before he even asked. Amen? God is always one step ahead. He always sees what's coming up. He always knows what's going to be in your future. Amen? And he always has a provision. He always sends a raven or a ram or a lodge, whatever you have need of, before you even ask. Jesus. Hallelujah. That makes you right. 
nothing else. That's right. The blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ask Him. Give Him that invitation. Glory to God. Turn to 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 9. Y'all just about got me stirred up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared. That's yes. that word again. Yes. That God has prepared for them that love Him. Amen. Woo! Yes. Amen. Eye has not seen. Amen. Ear has not heard. Amen. Amen. The things that God has prepared for you. His child. His righteous child. Amen. Amen. God has already made supernatural provision for you. Amen. His beloved. Amen. You're, you're His child tonight. Amen. Amen. He's already put a ram in the thicket for you. Uh -huh. He's already provided that raven to feed you. Uh -huh. He's already taken care of it, amen? He's got it right there. Hallelujah. But you know, you just when you when you need it is when you're going to have it. Amen. When you need it is when it's going to manifest. That's right. amen. Hallelujah. He's already commanded the, the provision to come to you. I heard a testimony recently about this little girl that um, she was spending the weekend with her grandparents. And they had a swimming pool and so they were, had gone out to swim. And uh, the grandmother was walking up the ladder to slide down the, to, the, to the water. Well, so the little granddaughter goes up behind her to walk, go up the ladder. Well, the grandmother slipped, and as she slipped, she kicked the little girl, and she, the little girl, it was nine feet that she was falling off of that ladder. Well, the grandfather was watching the whole thing, and he said he just knew that when she, she was going to hit that ground, she would just be splattered, more or less. But he said, all of a sudden, he's looking, and he's like, am I really seeing this? It was like a little girl just turned around in midair. It was like a little, like a feather, oh. just floating. And said it actually, she floated like six feet away from where she should have fell. And she just gently fell on the ground. <laughs> Grandfather goes over there and checks her out. Just knowing that she's probably dead. Nine feet tall. And uh, she was fine. Yeah. Yeah. When she, uh, they checked her and she got up and everything. She told them, she said, there was angels. She said, I heard when I, I fell, I heard Jesus say, Angels, protect the children. Go today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The provision is there. Amen. She didn't need it before, but right when she needed it. He was there. Amen. He was there. Yes. Amen. Right when you need it. God, I need it now. God's got it for you now. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Provision for His people. Supernatural provision. Everybody say, Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. My provider. My provider. Jehovah my provider. My provider. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. My provider. My 
I provide. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Right when we need Him, He's there. Praise. He says He'll never leave you or He'll never forsake you. Sometimes it might feel like we've been forsaken. Our circumstances might say, God, where are you? He's right there. When you need it the most, when you need that miracle the most, it's going to be right there for you. Amen. 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 I've seen it over and over and over in my life personally. God has never failed me. He's never left me. He's never forsaken me. And when you look back over your life, you may have gone through some hard times. You may have had some struggles. Life might not have been easy. You might could have wanted more than what you've had, but God's never forsaken you. He's always provided for you. And He always will. He'll always be there. He'll always take care of you. He'll always provide for you right when you need it. As long as you turn to Him. Amen. As long as you ask Him for His help. As long as you make Him Jehovah Jireh of your life. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Experiencing the greater glory is still my plan. And you'll see the great I am shall visit your land. Manifestations of my spirit as never before. And demonstrations of my power from shore to shore. Supernatural provision and greater breakthroughs too. Yes, this is my plan and my will for you. The powers of darkness will no longer stand. For I will show them the strength of my right hand. I'll have my way and all shall see. No power is greater nor equal to me. My people will rise up and take their place. And no enemy will stop them from finishing their race. Yes, 2015, you'll surely see, will be a year that will go down in history. So lift up your hands and roll and boldly decree something great is about to happen to me. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you. Thanks, God. Can you receive that for you tonight? Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's just go to the Lord in prayer. Father, I just thank you, Father God, for your word tonight. I thank you, Father God, for your spirit, Father God. I thank you, Father, this night for your love and your goodness, Lord. And I thank you that you have spoken to us this night through your word, Father. That you are Jehovah Jireh, God our provider. Father, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You change not. Father, it doesn't matter what's going on in the world. You're still God. You're still the same God that provided the raven. You're the same God that provided the ram. And Father, you are the same God that loves each and every one of us this night. And you're the same God that will provide whatever we have need of this night. Father, I just receive in the name of Jesus what you have provided for me this night and provided for this congregation, and I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give God a hand clap.